Father, we thank you, dear Lord, for blessing us today. Thank you, Father God, for giving us health and strength in our bodies in the wonderful name of Jesus. <coughs> now, Father, as I come now in your wonderful name, I come asking, Holy Spirit, that you would come in and saturate this house. Move up and down the aisles and speak to hearts and minds and do whatever you desire to do. We invite you in, yes. in the name of Jesus, to invade our homes, invade our minds, invade our situations. We pray that you would take over and take control. We thank you in advance for, for healing, deliverance, restoration, for tearing down and building up. In the wonderful name of Jesus, and we said amen. 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 That's a perfect the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Acts, Acts chapter 12, it's where we're going, where we're going to try to start in the name of Jesus. The Lord God gave me a word, and you know, a uh, road check. Check your road. Hallelujah. Check your road. Road Hallelujah. check. We're family. Road check. Anybody need something to write with? Need something to write with? Hallelujah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because the Lord God, yeah, yeah. Come on now. It's good to study and to take notes. I'm a, this is a minister. I love for you to learn. Amen. Hallelujah. There we go. That's what a road check is. Road check. That means you don't let your neighbor go on there. Make sure they got their knife and their gun. Oh my God. We will go get you a, we will get you a sword. Quick. In the name of Jesus. That's all right. We're going to get you a sword. Quick. In the name of Jesus. There we go. How many Bibles we need? Thank you, Lord. It's good to have the word to look at. Amen. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Lord. Tell every two. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. There's another one. Thank you, Lord God. That's what the Bibles are there for. Thank you, Lord. I don't want you to take me at my word. I want you to take him at your word. Thank you, Lord God. I want you to see what the, what the Master is saying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Acts chapter 12. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I love it how we just, this is just how we really take off. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes Lord. We take off, everybody. Make sure your seat belts are yeah. up. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Tray table put up. Come yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lock position. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Hallelujah. We're going to get to where God desires for us to go. In the name of Jesus. The, the title of today's message, if you're taking any notice, The Power of Prayer. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. There is power in prayer. In My case God. you haven't realized that prayer changes things. Ah. Hallelujah. If you're praying about something and you feel like God hasn't yes. answered it yet, just keep on praying because yes, God said there's power in prayer. Ah. You yes, must Lord. understand that the word that God gave me today is levels. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus. levels, and you're like, wait a minute, what is it? I'm, I'm about to explain, level, L-E-V-E-L, -E -E level. I looked in the book of, I went to Webster's Dictionary, and I looked at the word level. It means a position, a position, or a real or imaginary scale. We're talking about level. Hallelujah, we're talking about level. It's a position. A real or imaginary scale. But I want you to make a note of this important word with level. Intensity. That's I-N-T-E-N-I-S-I-T-Y. -I -I intensity. The reason being because the intensity is the power of prayer. That's why I wanted us to focus today. Brothers and sisters, you must understand that we serve an amazing God. Yes, He's a great God. He's an awesome God. And He likes to put us in a state of awe. Amen. And He loves to do that. Yes, I don't Lord. know about you, but lately He's just been made. I could just open up my mouth and go, oh. Yes, Lord. Because there's just some things that I believe He's been doing some yes. impossible things. Yes, some things that I could not thought yes, have happened Lord. that are happening. And I said, Lord God, I thank you, Father God. It's not by my intuition, Ooh. by my hand, but God's doing a great thing. I'm just going to share a little personal testimony. Testimony that you know what when you're going through some things, when you're going through a test or a trial, and all of a sudden that test or trial, and you keep going into meeting after meeting after meeting, and you're like, Lord God, and you're you're thinking, Father, I want to say something, I want things to go in my way, and the Lord God just says, Be quiet. Yes, Lord. So surely enough, you close your mouth. Amen. And you just said, you know what? I just give it on to God. You know what? When you enter into God's rest, you can just leave something alone. Amen. You pray about it and you just go to leave it alone. Yes, Lord. Pray about it. Enter to God's rest. And when I entered into yes, the Lord. Lord's rest, surely enough, on my return, everything was decent and in order. Yes, I Lord. Said, yes, Lord God. Yes, see, Lord. I already prayed about it. Yes, Lord. I already come with the power of prayer. And when the Lord God gave me that release, He said, Now go to bed. Uh -huh. I said, All right. Praise that's the word for somebody yes, right Lord. now. 
Yes. You know, the power of prayer. God yes. tell me to pray about it. And once you've done that, go to bed. Amen. To his rest. And the Lord God said, when you come back, it's going to put you in a state of awe. It's going to be just as you have prayed about it. Yes, Lord God, just as you spoke about it. Ah. As I give you this word in levels, the Lord God's been telling me about levels. Levels. I, I, I'm, I'm in Acts chapter 12. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm going to read you the verse. I, I'm going to give you some homework. You know I love to do that. Mm. Acts chapter 12, verse 1 through 19 is your homework. <laughs> Don't come back without doing your homework. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma 12, verses 1 through 19. Amen. I want you to put a focus on verse number 5. When you dare say amen. 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 The word of the Lord God said, Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant mm. prayer was offered to God for him by the what? Church. By the church. Come on now. I told you about the power of unity, the power of coming in agreement. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer, intensified prayer, <laughs> powerful prayer was offered to God for him. Yes. <clears throat> by the church. I want you to understand that people of God, God is telling us that he's calling for us to pray, to, to come together. That there's power in unity. We can come into a state of agreement, but that constant prayer is a powerful prayer. It's not that weak prayer. I want you to understand that God, he's not afraid of prayer. Come on now. He likes for us to be fervent in prayer. I, you know, this is the way the Lord God revealed it to me. If you're praying about something, and if you don't put any energy into it, if you can't get, if it doesn't interest you, why should it interest God? Amen. 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 Ouch amen. and amen. amen. If you're praying about something, if it amen. don't interest you enough, why should it interest your father? Amen. You know what that means when you're, well, Lord, I want to lift so and so up. My God. Jesus, bless God. Lord, I, that, that don't sound like no emphasis Lord, right there. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, you can keep that prayer. Preach yes, I'm going to put Amen. a charge on you right now. I love Amen. you, but if you pray like that for me, please stop. Amen. Please Amen. stop. You, I'd rather you not call out my name at all. Amen. Because Lord. in the name of Jesus, you call yes, out Lord. my name in the name of Bless it from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Her blessings yes, are coming in and going out. Now that's a prayer that I expect to be prayed about because I pray that way for you. Lord God, bless them when they come. Bless them when they go. Bless them in the field. Bless them wherever they are. Yes, Father Lord. God. Let the angels of the Lord encamp all around the Father. Yes, come for every enemy on every side. Lord God, as you pray for them, then Lord God, as I pray for them, that you bless them. That Lord God, the enemy may come in one way, but it's going to leave in yes, seven. Lord, yes, Lord. In the name of God. That's a prayer. That's a powerful prayer. That's a prayer that God's calling for us to pray for one Amen. another. You've got to be able to pray that way for one another. Come together with, for one another. In that, I, as I mentioned, prayer changes things. Amen. And today I want to talk about how the levels of prayer. In case you didn't know, it's already a day I teach a little bit. Yes, Amen. Lord. We're going to teach a little bit. You know, it's good to shout, but it's good to get some lessons. Yes. Come on, Amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you'll find out that at times maybe we've been praying incorrectly. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, There's Lord. The right way to pray. Yes, preach it, Pastor. Come on, uh -huh. There's the right way to yeah, pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before you come in, Lord, Lord, I yes, need Lord. Father, thank you. Yeah. Right. You got to thank them before you start asking. Amen. Amen. A lot of times we, we have to, the Lord God knows what you have need of before you ask Him. Yes, so why don't you just come in there? You know, and even though you're Desperate, Lord, I want to thank you, yes, Father. Lord, hallelujah. Yes, you got to thank him first. Amen. You know, say, Lord, God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you for the good and I thank you for the bad. Yes, Lord. You're like a widow. Why should I thank him for the bad? Because it could have been worse. Worse. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. You got to thank him. Amen. You got to yes, enter in a particular yes, way. And I want you to understand that there are certain levels. And I'm going to speak on these different levels. And uh, Tell your neighbor, there's power in prayer. Yes. There's power, power in, in prayer. prayer. Tell your neighbor on the other side, there's power in prayer. There's power in prayer. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that, that there's prayer that will break chains. Yes, Lord. <laughs> there was prayer that will loose healing. Yes. There's prayer that will loose some finances. Yes. There's some prayer that will provide protection for a loved one. There's a prayer that will get you out of any situation yes, that you may be in. Yes. That's some powerful the prayer. That's Jesus. that type of prayer that's taking place. But I want you to understand that I want to speak about three levels of prayer. The first level is a human level. Human level of prayer. You're like, oh, wait a minute, God. It's called the human level of prayer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just allow me to teach that today. Yes. The human level of prayer is based upon is that when you're praying for a particular thing and someone has a response for you and it comes through a person. That's the human level of prayer. Amen. Whenever you prayed about something, and you said, Lord God, I'm praying and believing, and the Lord God speaks to that individual to do that thing for you, and they don't do it. Jesus. 
That's a human level of prayer. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, wait a minute, God. Mm -hmm. There is such a level, and that's a powerful prayer, mm -hmm. but it's a very, very powerful. But the human level of prayer has one little hook in it. Mm. A person has a choice whether to do it or not. Amen, wow. amen, amen, amen. You know, and you're like, oh, wait a minute. I, you know what? I, I'm going to give you a great example. You've been praying and believing God for something to come through for you. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God told you. He said it's going to come through for yes. you. And you're holding on to that word. And surely enough, the day comes and it does not happen. My God. Jesus. And you're like, Lord God, wait a minute. But I want you to know, don't get discouraged. Amen. Because Amen. there was somebody who was Amen. next to you that had the power to, to bless you the way God told you for you to be blessed. Yes, Lord. But they chose not to. My Jesus. You see, that's a human level of prayer. It's a powerful prayer, but you know, I want you to know that God will not go override your choice. Amen. Amen. He will not Preach override your free will. There are many a times when God says, mm. you're like, well, Lord God, I know that my blessing is in the house. The Lord God even named it and showed you what it's going to look like. And Amen. you did. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. And surely enough, that person who was supposed to bless you, they walk on by. Jesus. Jesus. And the Lord God said, you know what? That's because it was in the human level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That person chose. But keep in mind that God is still faithful. Yes, that Lord. if you know what, he'll use somebody else. Yes. Amen. 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 He'll use somebody. So I'm telling you that. You must understand. No, there it is in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Let your Lord God. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a human love. You yes. see, the Lord God was speaking to her. You may be wondering at times whenever someone puts something at the altar. It's not been because the Lord God spoke to them. Amen. Yes. Because Amen. the Father knows. Amen. He already knows. So that's a human level of prayer. Yes. I may have been praying about something and nobody knew anything Amen. about it. Amen. And surely enough. She was obedient. Yes, yes. Lord. So when the Lord got told her, said, I don't care what it looks like, Amen. but I'm going to yes, be obedient. Lord. That's yes. a powerful prayer. Amen. That's called a human level of prayer. Yes, Lord. That's one level of prayer that I want you to understand that has a choice. And that's the only hookup that I have with that level. But it's a powerful prayer. It just depends upon the person. Be encouraged, people of God. That God says that, you know what? Even though you may go through 20 people, 30 people, 40, maybe 50. But just hold on to that word. If God gave it to you, Amen. that's the most important thing. You hold on to it because the power of prayer. God said that I am a God who yes. answers prayer. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't you know what? As a matter of fact, I want God. I know that God's going to bless this. Amen. Ministry. Amen. I know God's going to yes. bless every yes, individual Lord. in this house. Yes, Amen. Lord. That today some change yes, is going to grow. Amen. That today the Thank prayer you, Lord. that you were getting waiting for an answer yes, will yes, come through today. Yes, so Lord. Why? Because somebody's going to be obedient yes, to the human Lord. and do what the Lord God has them to do. Yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father. That's the Holy I Spirit with me, y'all. Yes, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Come on, now. That. Thank you, Lord God. And if you're the one that's on the end that the Lord God is dealing with, receive that. Amen. The Lord God yes. said, just be obedient. Don't put your guard up and say, that's the devil. You, mm -hmm. Ooh, Jesus. Now, you know, the Lord God said, you, that must be the devil. Preach it, Pastor. No. Uh -huh. That's the Holy Ghost talking. Yes, Lord. Be obedient yes. because the Lord God said that I'm going to bless you double whatever yes, you Lord. bless them with. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. But you must be obedient Amen. to that. Amen. I'm trying to get you there with this power, this powerful prayer. And there's power in prayer. You also play a role in it. Yes, You've got Lord. to be obedient to what yes. the Lord God is speaking yes, to Lord. you. The Lord God said, I give you your, your will, but you must understand that. I'm going to go to level three. And the reason why I'm going to skip level two, because level two it deals with our passage in Acts chapter 12. A level three is another type of prayer. It's called God's sovereignty level. Hallelujah. That's just because God is who he is. Hallelujah. That's best because no matter what God says or does, it's just because of who he is. Well, I want you to turn with me to 2 Kings. Yeah, keep your finger in Acts 12. Turn with me to 2 Kings chapter 20. Or I'm going to show you a, a, a passage about God's sovereignty. That means whatever you're praying, God does it just because he can. Come on now. You don't have to use anybody. He's just going to flow. I don't know about you, but I'm going to take a little bit of that one. You don't have to use anybody else. He's just going to flow through. And 2 Kings chapter 20, we hear about our brother Hezekiah. Our brother Hezekiah cried out unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 2 Kings chapter 20. Yes. The prophet Elijah shows up and tells our brother Hezekiah something's about to go on with him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm going to love it because we're teaching today. As you get there, yeah. 2 Kings chapter 20, the Lord God says in verse 1, In those days Hezekiah was sick near death. And, the, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, went to him and said, Thus saith the Lord, Set your house in order. 
or you shall die and not live. And look what Hezekiah did. We're talking yes. about God's sovereignty. Then he turned his face, what? Toward the wall. the wall. And he prayed, saying, Lord, <laughs> remember me now. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, oh, Lord. Lord, I pray. I walk before you yes. in Hallelujah. truth and with a loyal heart. And I've done what was good in your sight. And Hezekiah whipped bitterly. We're going to pause right there. We just learned the message on Wednesday night fire that we are good. Amen. Amen. Hezekiah reminded the Lord. He said, Lord, I've been good. Yes, Lord. I've been loyal. I've been faithful. I've done what was just and right. And so when he was faced with the situation, he began to call upon the Lord. But look how he called upon the Lord. I'm telling you, there's twofold message in the house today. God said, there's power in prayer. Remember I said that you got to praise him first and then begin yes. praying. Yes, yes. But then also remind him of what he told you. Yeah. Preach it, Pastor. Oh, Amen. He told the Lord, Amen. look at Hezekiah said, remember now. Yes, Lord. He's like, Lord God, don't you remember me? The Amen. Lord God knows your name, but sometimes he wants the scripture says in Isaiah 43, you got to remind the Lord of his word. Yes, Lord. If he gave you something, you start off saying, Lord, remember you said, yeah. you told me, Father yeah. God, that yeah, yeah, you got to remind him. Hezekiah knew the order. He began to say, remember now. Mm. That means I'm right now, Lord, now, not yes. tomorrow. Hallelujah. I, because I've been told I need to set my house in order. The Lord God is speaking to some of you right now that, you know, you've gotten a word and it's not something that you really desire. But the Lord God said, you call upon him and say, Lord God, yes. remember me, Lord. Yes, remember Lord. me, Lord God. And right now, right now, Lord God. Amen, I need amen. you to remember my name, Lord God. Yes, I need Lord. you to remember that, Father, it is I, oh Lord yes, God. Hallelujah. It is I, it's your son and your daughter that I've been faithful, Lord God. I've obeyed your precept. I've walked line upon line and precept upon yes, precept. Lord. It is I, oh Lord God. You can tap into that, what you have already sold. The Lord God said, he does hear you. Hezekiah, he turned around and he reminded the Lord. He said, remember me. He said, I, I walk before you. I've been in truth and I've been loyal. I've been faithful, Lord. I haven't prostituted the anointing. Come to me. Yes, now. Lord. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't acting like mm -hmm. something that I wasn't. Like, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Preach it, man. You better get that. Uh -huh. You better get that. Come on now. That means I was faithful. I didn't choose no man. You're like, oh, I never cheated on God. Yeah. Anytime you put something up before the Lord, you just cheated on God. Yes. Preach it, Pastor. You're like, oh, wait. You know what? When people yes. hear the word adultery, mm -hmm. the first thing they're thinking about is a yeah. husband and a wife. Sometimes, as believers, we commit adultery. Oh, amen. Yes. We put yes. something up before oh. God. Yes. Come on. And then you're wondering why, why the Lord, you know, when the Lord God said, I, I don't, I despise adultery. He didn't, you know, like, I'm not, that's not me. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Have you put something before God? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Well, that's my children. That's my, you know what God says? Everything has its place. Yes. Everything has its place. Don't you know God knows you have children? Yes. He's the one gave you them children. Yes. God. Yes. yes. Don't you know God knows you have a job? Amen. He knows everything. Matter of fact, is he not the one who gave you those Jesus. things? Yes. So if you're wondering, oh, Lord God, well, I'm just doing No, no, no. You can take the time and say, Father, I thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. I don't know about you, but you can praise him till you get there. Come on now. Yes, if you're Lord. at work, then you praise him till you get off. Amen, amen. Come yes, on now. Lord. That happened to be what you've got yes, to do. Lord. Lord God said, I know, but you can still get up and get the door. Yes, Lord. You know, you wait. You have to come to the house to have church. Yes, yes. yes Lord. Amen. The church is wherever you are. Yes, Lord. You can have church everywhere you go. When you're in your car, you can have church. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When you go over yes. to the grocery store, you can have church. Amen. When you're in the parking lot at Walmart, yes, you can Lord. have church. Amen. When you're in the hospital, you can have church. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. When you're around the corner, you can have church. Yes, you Lord. can even go to your cousin's house and have yes. church. Preach yes. pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, so you yes, must Lord. understand that you can have church anywhere oh, because yes. the church of God is inside yes. of you. Yes. And wherever you are, the church is right there. Amen. I want you to understand that Hezekiah had, that was a third level prayer. Because the moment that he prayed, Hezekiah prayed a 66, a 60 minute prayer. 60 second prayer. 60 seconds. I want you to know that, it, that as we read it, remember now, O oh Lord, I pray now. I've walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart. And I've done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah went <coughs> bitterly. That was maybe what, eight seconds? seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Maybe 10 seconds. Yes, Lord. <laughs> the scripture says, and it happened before the prophet Isaiah gone to the middle of the house Jesus. that the word of the Lord came to him saying, go return to Hezekiah. 
the leader of my people and say, I have heard your prayer. There it is. Oh, and I've seen your tears. Yes, yes, Lord. And I will heal you. Amen. I want you to know a 60-second prayer. Jesus. My God. God said, you know what? Yeah, I, I know that there's some times when you tear it. But you must understand that God is just that powerful. Whenever God wants to move in your life, it don't take hours. It don't take years. When God is in the ready to move, remember, he's sovereign. Amen. When it's sovereign will, when God says, I see what's going on in her life, he just shifts some things. Amen. He removes, he picks one up, yes, Lord. one low. Amen. He doesn't shift, Preach he it operates that way. Yes, Lord. That's God's sovereignty, just because he's God. Amen. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but that level three prayer yes, sounds Lord. pretty good to Amen. me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, there's power in prayer. There's power in prayer. Tell your neighbor, so there's power in prayer. There's power in prayer. I want you to understand that this sovereign prayer, this level yes, three, Lord. the Lord God is trying to tell you something that surely enough that you can pray that that means your, your walk with God is so important yes Lord. hallelujah did you understand yes, your walk Lord. with God yes. is so important Amen. because God recognized those that are his yes, come on Lord. now the Lord God said, hey, you don't have to go through all of the all the highs and the lows. The Lord God said, I remember you. I remember you because you was just talking to me just a few minutes ago. Amen. Yes, Lord. Now, you know, yes, some people, Lord. I got to break through and break when you. I got to break through all this to get to the Lord. Wait a minute. Okay. I beg to differ. Because whenever you're walking with the Lord constantly, you, you don't have that. You, you can tap into the glory real quick. Yes, Lord. It's like, well, how is it that you can praise the Lord so yes, quick? Lord. Because I just yes, left Lord. Amen. Yes, I Lord. Have, I've been it don't yes, take Lord. me long. The moment but I get it. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. It don't take you long to enter in yes, if you've been in all the time. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Jesus. The only thing it is that your atmosphere has changed. Yes. But you're still in the glory. Yes, Lord. Yes. The Lord God's doing something about that glory. Oh, yes, he is. I'm going to tell you, you've been ministering to me about the glory. Oh, my God. There's the glory that's coming. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's, there's healing in the glory. Yes, Lord. There's deliverance in his glory. Yes, How There's power in the glory. Yes, Lord. I know that's not in our word today, but I guess yes, you Lord. About the glory, my God. the glory, the glory, yes. the glory. Mm. Oh my God, that's a Shekinah glory. Jesus. The Lord God, when it rests in the house. Yes, Lord. He said it's so heavy that there won't be any preaching. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There won't be any praise, and we're just out in the glory. I don't know about you, but I'm waiting for it. Hallelujah. But I hunger for that. Yes, Lord. Lord. God, you just lay us all out. Yes, Lord. Lord. But we don't even know what time it is anymore. Yes, they come away, they're looking. What is that family? Yes, You're still in the house of the Lord. Because the glory of the God, the Lord God has just transformed. Yes, Lord. Because I want you to know that once you've been in the glory, when you come out, you'll never be the same. Jesus. You will never yes, be the same. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Body, even your skin will be different. Come Jesus. on. Jesus. In the name of the Lord. You are in the glory yes, of heaven. Yes. Talk about your kind of glory. Things that weren't renewed will be renewed. Things that weren't there will be restored. I'm here to tell you when you're in the glory. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus. Lord. Jesus. I'm sending my God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank as the word is going forward, that level three, that's a powerful mm -hmm. prayer that God's moving sovereignly. He doesn't need anybody to help him whenever you're in that My level God. three prayer. No. He doesn't need, uh, he doesn't need the, uh, the boss. He doesn't need permission. He doesn't need anyone. He just decides to move. Thank you, Lord. That's a level three type Thank of prayer. Lord. That's a level three type of prayer. And as we get to the second level, this is where we're going with our message today. The second level of prayer is the angelic level. It's the angelic level. I don't know about you, but we do have angels. There are godly yeah, angels yes, that are encamped all around us. Yes, uh, thank the Lord God. God sends his godly angels. And in case you don't know, I, I pray that you believe in angels because God has godly angels sitting there to protect you, to keep you, to watch over you. Yes, Just like the enemy has his thank demons. You, Lord. Yes. That's demonic uh -huh. angels. God mm -hmm. said has his angels. Yes, too. Lord. I'm telling you right now, yes, I pray Lord. that the Lord God will release his warring angels. Yes, Lord. On our yes, behalf. Lord. To fight the battles yes, in the heavenly realm the on of, our behalf in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. We're talking about the angelic realm. I want you to understand that in, in the book chapter of uh, Acts chapter 12, verse number 5, Peter was in prison. He was in prison. And at the time that he was in prison. I want you to, Acts chapter 12, we're going all the way back to our original text. Thank you, Lord God. Acts chapter 12, that Peter was arrested. 
He was in prison. Right before we find out that they just killed James, the brother of John. They were killing the believers. Jesus. Left and right. Herod was sent out and Peter was left. I want you to understand. But while Peter was incarcerated, the scripture said, while he was, he said, but constant prayer was offered for him by the church. Yeah. I want you to know that whenever somebody says that they're going to pray for you, when your name is put in the church and people begin to pray constant prayer, mm -hmm. I want you to understand that things are going to happen favorably. Yes, yes Lord. That's powerful Amen. prayer Amen. right there. Amen. God says it in Amen. his word. That surely enough, because of this prayer, an angel was released. Hallelujah. Yes, and we're talking about, and the angel, that's the second level. It's the angelic level of prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Tell your neighbor the angelic level of prayer. Angelic level of prayer. Angelic level of prayer. Angelic level of prayer. Thank, angelic level of prayer. Thank you, Lord God. That's a powerful level right there. The angelic level of prayer. It's when, surely enough, an angel was sent. I want you to understand that while he was there in prison, it says in verse number 6, when Herod was about to bring him out that night, Peter was sleeping, mm -hmm. bound with it is two chains between two soldiers and had to go past two guards. Come on, do the math. Amen. Two chains between two soldiers and two guards. I want you probably say, I don't see where it says two guards. If you look in verse 10, verse 10 says when they had to pass two guards. Yeah. Come Amen. on now. Amen. So we got two, four, six. I want you to say that whenever we tap into that angelic realm, that the power of prayer, that God will allow an angel to come in and intercede on your behalf yes, and Lord, come and yes, deliver Lord. you Preach out of what best. you're going through yes, without any yes. help from anybody. Just so yes, God said, I'll send my godly angels yes, to come Lord. after you. But that's the power of prayer. Yes, Lord. I want you to understand that there was an angel that came through and broke those two chains. Mm. An angel that came through that water that moved him between those two soldiers. Amen. And there was an angel that came there that took him past the two guards and they kept him safe while he was traveling through. Yes, yes Lord. I want you to let that's a powerful prayer. In the name when of the Jesus. angelic level is involved, that right. God says that that prayer will break some chains. That prayer will loose some individuals. Yes. That prayer will open up doors. That prayer will allow you to be maneuvered in a place that you've never been before and you won't even be haunted. Yes, Thank Lord. You, Lord God. Thank you, I know Lord. that's not in our text, but how many of you remember what Daniel, in the book of Daniel, when he went on that 21 day fast? Yes, Lord. Yes, on, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. I want you to know that that was an angelic level of prayer right yes, there. Yes, Lord. And Daniel, when he went on that 21 day fast, the children of the scripture says that, that Daniel began to pray. Amen. And he prayed, and the angel said, he said, I had your answer, but I was held up Jeez. by the prince of Persia. Yes, Lord. He said there was a principality mm -hmm. that was over the region. Uh -huh. And that's why that your prayer didn't get answered the way it should have gotten answered. Yeah. He said, because of the principality All that was right. set over that particular region. All that's right. the only reason why that you didn't get as many souls as you were supposed to get. Yes, Lord. All right, Lord. A principality. It's called the Prince of Persia. I want you to understand that the an angelic level that whenever you begin to pray, God sends his angels. Yeah, preach so it, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Am I right? Amen. 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 You need to know your word. That yes. Angels, they move on behalf of God. Yes. But God sent them out. You know, Lord, some of y'all, y'all will put your angels to work. And, mm -hmm. I work mine. Yes, yes, Lord. God. Lord. Work them. Say, so, Lord God, go get them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Go get them, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I'm praying. You know, the Lord God, go get that person. Amen. Amen. Them, yes, it. Lord, in you the know, name of Jesus. Everybody should put your angels to work. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Say, Father, I thank you for my godly angels. Yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. No, I'm sorry. Let's go. Yes, Lord. Let's go work. Let's go work. Let's go in the name of Jesus. But see, if you're not praying that way, your angels are just on holiday. Jesus. Preach it fast. Oh, well, they're all the angels busy. Your angels are like, what are you doing? And they ain't asking me from no help. They never pray. They say, Lord God, send your godly angels to assist me. My God. I want you to know that godly angels will assist you to force out, to drive out, to push out any demonic force. Yes, Amen. Lord. You're like, oh, angels will do that? Yes. Preach it fast. You can uh -huh. pray that way, Lord God. I'm praying yes, for my Lord. godly angels to force out, to drive out, and to send those ungodly spirits back to the lake of yes, fire. Yes, Lord. That's what they're there for. They're sent to help you. You're like, well, I'm calling. Yes, yes you can call upon the name of Jesus. Yes. But you do have angels to assist you yes, in Lord. this earth realm. Yes. So for some things, you, Lord God, I, I pray you send my God and go before me. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Take care of that matter. So when mm. you get there, you don't have that problem. Yes, Lord. Yes. Come on now. Yes, because Lord. they can tear some things down. I want yes, you to know Lord. that God, that Daniel prayed so hard yes, that the Lord. angel spoke to him and said, the moment that 
You prayed and answered. I answered. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all been praying. The Lord God's trying to tell you that something's been blocking your prayers. Yes, Jesus. That's Richard, Nothing's been blocking yes, us today. Lord. We're about to break that thing. Thank you, Lord. It's about to break. Thank you, Lord. That thing that's been holding up your like, oh, wait a minute, God. He said that there's been something that's been holding up your prayer. You've been praying like it's going up against a glass ceiling. Up and come right Yes, back Lord. The Lord God said, not so anymore. Preacher, I pray for my God that yes, you Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want you to know.